hello guys how are you doing i've done a particular video about this particular image but i want to do another retouching because every single time we go through the process of retouching we get to come up with new ways of retouching that particular image so for this particular image i am going to also work on the background that's why i am actually doing it not because i want to go through the whole retouching process once again so my number one thing is to make sure i crop to my instagram site i am not going to take it down just content aware then i'll say okay i would like to load meanwhile i start looking for background that will suit the image so the previous one i did i just left it at the, the black background you could check out my channel you will see it but this particular one i am going to see how could add something to the background to make the background looks more look more beautiful so i'm going to say ctrl j then i'm going to select subject those of you that have been watching my videos you know i have option on selecting subject to fix the image so i am not doing anything serious to the body so i'm just going to i'm just jump into a new layout so i have the background i have the background and the image on two different layers so i'm just going to go back to my backgrounds and start looking for something that will suit that image and those of you that have been watching my videos you know i don't plan the background i want to add to the image ahead of time i just walk then if i see a background that will suit it then i just add so let's try using this particular background let's see with soft light it came out well but no I will not use that. I'll go look for another background. These are like old set of background that I've been using all my life. What I do is when new ones come, I just add. And yeah, we have some new ones. So let me look for uh, now adding a background to your image is not really necessary. Adding a background to the image that you're working with. Sometimes the background that you shot it with might be very nice, so you don't have to now go through the process of trying to change the background. So I'm putting this one, but I want to shift it to this side. Yes, for art's sake, I'm going to shift it like that. So I'm going to leave it like that. So let's see if we can use one of these blend mode to blend it into the background or we can keep it around here but there is something i think i could do for this image so let's duplicate the image and keep this one and uh, soft light then the other one we just keep it on normal then we use a black mask Hold down your alt and click on the mask to turn it to black. Then we we'll press a B for brush. Then we we'll make our brush bigger. Then we we'll paint it back in. Paint this part back in. So I would go back to this one and blow it a little. Let's uh, I have it, uh, it on smart object, so just blow it. Yeah. Keep it like that, then also drag the blur into this. So you have the blur here also. So we have an image like this. So let's hold the both of them and drag it to fill up the canvas. So here we go this is how the image is right now but for the sake of the fact that i want to give it to a client i might not keep it this this exposed i might just reduce my opacity a little so it fades into the background like this so here is the before and here is the after so we have a nice looking image let's look at our edges our edges are looking very nice and as you can see everything is looking very good so i'll just jump into a new layout like 
make a stamp visible layout. Then I'm going to take my time and clean off all of this. Don't ask me why I'm this fast. Probably my Wacom tablet is also helping me do this very fast. And I I one time prayed to be one of the fastest retouchers of all time. I still believe I'm one of the fastest. Yes. Because I know I retouch very fast. so we are good to go so now let's retouch this image and not destroy the image so we are going to be using a radius of six for this image then we are going to start retouching the image so anytime you see me doing like this is because I don't want the tutorial to be too fast. So I'm going to just keep brushing. I mean, I don't want the tutorial to be too long. Sorry, I was carried away. Carried away. So So if you're watching the whole process, I think one of the best things that you can do for yourself is to pause, retouch, then come back and watch as I continue so that we can both be on the same page. So, sorry, whenever I'm not talking, I'm trying to focus. Yes, I'm trying to focus so I can do the class very fast and also do something very nice for you. So when you're retouching these areas, make sure you're not retouching everything together. If not, you lose the details. You lose the form of that part of the body, which I think is something you don't want to do. You don't want to lose forms. You want the image to still look like someone instead of looking like a robot. And mind you, the robots nowadays, they are even looking like humans, so don't overdo that. So our image is retouched. And one beautiful thing about um, retouching in your blood layout is that you get to see all the mistakes that you have done to go through it again, or you leave it like that. It's way more better than when you turn on the texture layout. 
So when I turn on my texture layout, this is what I get. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to match this part of the skin with the face. So I'm going to select, first of all, select the part here, then change it to color and texture, soft light, I mean. Then I would then use the brush to just paint it in, sorry, put it above here, paint it in. Paint it in. Let's delete that. Let's start over. Make sure we are selecting somewhere nice, soft light. I'll paint it in. This is what I wanted to see. So I'm going to paint it in and uh, make sure we dodge. I'll come back and clean some part of. So make sure we dodge in the texture the the what the makeup artist did there are some things that we are not supposed to cover that we are already covering around here so i'm going to use the eraser brush just erase that part off yes erase that part off then i'm just going to bring this down to around 30 then i am going to use my soft light my selective color i mean to just make sure it's clipped to whatever is here so i really don't want that yellow because i feel like the yellow is too much so now when you look at the image let's group this this is the before, this is the after. This is the before, this is the after. So we fixed the image just like that. So we can now run probably a particular color for the old skin. So let's select here, select. Let's say OK. Then let's create a gradient map and go to legacy and come to photographic toning now if you're not seeing photographic toning in that folder you should just come here come to gradient then come to legacy gradient then from there you find it inside so i have a video that i showed how to find it sir so let's try this we can always come back and change it so let's keep it on soft light or you bring it to color so soft light would work better so let's see if we can change it to something else mm. okay you see so you can easily just move through them and uh, see what they are like so i feel like this one works for me so I'm just going to bring this down to around 30. Not much, so I just have one, one particular setting that moves around, around the whole image. So let's see if it's not touching some of the areas I want it to touch. So come back to our brush, make it bigger, turn it to a black a white brush change it back to a black brush if you want to see you see it here so painting i'm just doing a rough painting which i can go back and fix so remove it from all over here then deselect so we can paint black into these edges now we go close to the image and see how we can clean up some of these areas reduce the brush clean up some of these areas and paint into the eyebrows these areas and also the eyes and also the lip 
then clean it off this area, then deselect. So right now we have a very nice image. Let's just add a little bit of this and bring this up a little. Then go to our yellows and see. You can reduce the yellow a little, it will be fine. Then increase the reds. Yes, so that is it. Then we add a little bit of black. So every other thing I'm going to do on this image is something that I've done before. So that's why there is no need for me to be using all of those to make the tutorial longer. So we we'll just end the tutorial here. Once again, if this tutorial was helpful, if you learned something from this video, no matter how small it is, do well to give me a thumbs up. Invite your friends to come and watch my videos and I appreciate those that have been watching. Thanks again and see you in my next video.